Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to keep your number when activating Mint Mobile. Now, if you are new to Mint Mobile, but you want to keep your old phone number and just port it over, I'm gonna walk you through all of those steps. But first, my partner Mint Mobile gave me the link down below. It gets you the first three months for $15 per month, which is a great deal. It gives you a discount off of those first three months on the unlimited plan, saves you some dollars. So after you click on that link, let's say you go through the process, let me find it and tap on trimintmobile.com forward slash Trevor Nace. And you go through the process of adding a plan to your cart and say you go through the process of buying an eSIM. So after you go through the entire checkout process and you order, basically order that unlimited plan, then it will send you an email. At that point, you need to go to your original carrier. So go to your original carrier and it says you're gonna ask for your account number and your transfer pin. Now, keep in mind, you need this from whatever carrier you previously had that phone number associated with. Whether it was AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, whatever it was, you need to have that account number and the pin to enter it in to transfer that number over to Mint Mobile. So after you do that, let's open up the email here and you'll get an email that looks like this from Mint Mobile that says your order is confirmed. It'll show order details and it will say activate your eSIM. All you have to do is hit the activate eSIM and it will prompt you to download and install the app. After you've downloaded and installed the app on your iPhone or Android, then basically it will walk you through that process. It will say, hey, do you want to bring over or port in your old phone number? Just hit yes, and you're gonna enter in that account number and the PIN, and it will walk you through the entire process of bringing that phone number, no matter what it was, the area code and the seven digits, it will bring it over into Mint Mobile, and now you'll be able to get and receive all the same text messages and phone calls to that old or that existing phone number, but it will all be managed through Mint Mobile going forward. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.